Okay, I think we have to do a reading vlog for Meet Me at the Lake by Carly Fortune. And I just started this book and I'm already on page 35. I think I'm liking this book better than her first one. And again, I liked her first one, just not enough to keep it. And also, I kind of like the U.S. cover better than the Canadian one. I don't know why they were different. So, yeah, like they should be the same. But this one, I'm liking. And, I like, I love her books because she's she lives in Toronto. And her books are based, like, it, the story is in Toronto. And pink, you know, it's pink. Uh, I like this. Okay, take this for example. There are some neighborhoods. The distillery district. The junction. I haven't been to High Park. And then this guy grew up in high park shut up it's stunning especially when the cherry blossoms are out in the spring i've never been to high park either so and then he says i always thought toronto would be a boring destination unless you had a local showing you around all that cool stuff is kind of hidden muskoka just outside huntsville muskoka was a large lake district north of the city and prime cottage country I think Wendell Clark, Wendell Clark has a property in uh, Muskoka, I think. So, yeah, so I'm actually really enjoying this and I'm learning about Muskoka. And it's just so nice and Young and Dundas was mentioned. The billboards and how there's so many people at Young and Dundas that, yeah, you won't be recognized. Nobody's recognized. Everybody is just, yeah, doing their thing. Uh, yeah, so I'm really having a good time with this book. Well, I don't want to go to sleep because I want to keep reading <laughs> Meet Me at the Lake. I'm having such a good time with this book. Oh my goodness. Wow. I think I I also gave, I gave away the first one also because I didn't like the Canadian cover. I prefer the U.S. cover and the mass market paperback that came out that just got released of the new book is the U.S. cover. And so I think I'm going to get that one because I prefer that over the Canadian cover. I don't know why they're different. So, but yeah, I'm having such a good time. They're in Huntsville. They were so, uh, her grandparents are in British Columbia. Uh, again, Tofino. Uh, what else? Uh, oh, TTC. Queen Street, Dundas, uh, oh my, CN Tower, oh my God, like, you, oh, this is just like a love letter. <laughs> oh my God, I love it. I'm having such a good time with this book. I am having the best time reading this book. Like, I just don't want to put it down. And I'm smiling, I'm smiling, I'm even laughing. Just the best time. I'm having so much fun reading this book. And, uh, I read 100 pages yesterday and I mean I could technically finish it today if I really put my mind to it but I'm just enjoying it. It's such a good time. Such a good time. Uh -huh. Okay, well, normally we do this on a, as a separate video or we used to do it as a, as a separate video but we don't do that anymore. So and the hamsters are all sleeping so we're gonna do this. With no hamster we got mail or rather hamsters got mail uh we stopped the, the subscription for one month and then but we, and we started it up again i believe this is the april box because i think it was march that i stopped it um and it's a it's a big box again and so this is a www.sendhamstermail.com and this is a not uh sponsored or anything i wish they would sponsor us uh, and it always comes like this, special important delivery, hamster mail to a very special hamster. And there's the website and they're on Instagram at sendhamstermail.com. They're on Twitter too, I think. And TikTok, they're on TikTok too. Uh, and every month, uh, you, you, you can do every month. Uh, you can do, uh, we just renew every, like every month it just renews itself. And it's about $35 a month, I believe, or $30 a month, Canadian. But they come from the UK. And your hamsters get a treat, some, um, uh, like, chew, chew things. So it's the only subscription box that we, that we do. 
I just made myself a hot chocolate because I just felt the need for a hot chocolate. The, the, the sun is shining, but it's I, I think it until the sun is full, full on, and in, in my balcony I'm chilly. So because it's not yeah like right now the sun is still like on that side. So in the afternoon when the sun is here it's going to be nice and warm. So. But, and then it always comes with this in yellow tissue paper. Ooh, and some stuff we can give to the guinea pig too, which is nice. And it always comes with a little thing like this. And you can cut this out and then use it as a photo op, photo prop. And then it's always, you always, charity of the month is Popcorns and Binky's Rescue Haven. Oh, located in Winnipeg, Canada. It's a husband and wife team. And they focus, uh, the focus is on the often misunderstood pocket pets and exotic animals, rabbits, guinea pigs, hamsters, rats, hedgehogs. The team at Popcorn and Binky's strive to create a better understanding of how to properly care for and provide for these animals. Oh, this is awesome. So if you want to take a look at that, you're more than welcome to. And uh, yeah, and then there's always a little message, but every month the, the, they support a charity. And I think they donate a box or something to that charity. Ooh, what do we got? We got echinacea nibbles. Ooh, we got echinacea nibbles. A good thing because we don't have a, a lot of treats this time, so that's good. They get echinacea. Oh, that's healthy, huh? Oh, and we have a veggie nibble platter that looks really yummy. It looks like carrots, cucumber. Oh, yeah, complimentary feed for hamsters. And then this one is oh, I'm, I'm getting heartburn. Some kind of nibble pots. Ooh, this is good for the chewing. Am I showing it backwards? And it's always natural. Everything they give is natural. And then this we might be able to give to the guinea pig too. This is a natural trio of fun balls. An assortment of fun play and chew. And chew balls to keep your pet entertained for hours. So we might give one to the guinea pig. So yes, this is a great box. Sometimes the boxes are smaller and sometimes they're not. But there's always about four items in the bo in each box. Highly recommend if you have a hamster to subscribe to a said hamster mail. And again, it comes about, about it comes out to about thirty plus thirty plus dollars a month Canadian. And they do ship from the US and they ship on the twenty first of each month. So I believe this is the April April box. Well, thank you so much, Hamster Mail, for the gifts from my hamsters and guinea pig. Okay, and now, back to the video. And I'm almost halfway. Yeah. And we're here with, oh, look at all the dandelions. Whoa. And we're here with Alyssa. I should have, I, this is my favorite dress. I should have worn this dress when I met Carly Fortune. I didn't think. I just put on my sweatshirt, but I should have met. I should have put this dress on. I would have matched. Yeah, I wasn't thinking. wasn't thinking. So I, I've been loving displaying the color coordinating my box. Now I'm not gonna do a rainbow because I I do keep series together. But I just, I love how this looks. So I moved page, the, I moved this thing over here. And I moved page the bear here. I still have my reach sign there. And I have all my, my blue books, I didn't touch them. Oh, with the little Care Bear here. And when I get a pink Care Bear, he's gonna go here. So that's my blue box with Emily Henry and Beach Read Yellow. I could, I don't have enough yellow books, I don't, so. But this is a blue spine, so that'll go there. That's fine there. And then moving on, we have a pink shelf. With my, If I get more pink books, then I'll move the heart stopper somewhere else. But for now, this is what we're working with. 
We got Ringo wearing pink, my pink troll, my pink, oh, yeah, I love it. I just love how this looks. And then moving down here, we got orange. And there's a little yellow, but there's orange here. That's why it's like that. And pumpkin, we got, this is a, this look at the squirrels, a little fall. And I just, I, I adore this book. I, I still have to read the runaway dolls. But my classics are still the same. My classics are down there. And I did leave this 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 one I didn't touch. Uh, and then I just moved this over here. And then I just have to straighten up and do something here. But yeah, so that is what I've been working on today. And then I just, yeah, I moved over so a few stuff. So a few things here. So see, I have more room here so I can buy books. See, I have orange, but since that's a series, I, I, I want to keep series together. So yeah. Anyway, so that, I just wanted to show, oh, look at that. And I just noticed that, that we have an um, orange and a yellow. So this kind of goes with this little shelf. So perfect. So I'm highlighting Emily Henry. And oh yeah, and the book that I'm currently reading is pink too. And I wanted to display that. So when I get that, I'll just move this, move, move this, because I really want to display um, uh, Carly Fortune's newest book. That's why, that's what made me want to do this, because... I am, I am loving that book, and I thought, I want to display that book, but I also want to display Happy Place. So I thought, okay, well, I'm just going to do a little, not a rainbow, but just a color coordinate my bookshelves. So I love it. I absolutely adore how this looks. I think I'm going to end the video here, and I hope you like this video, and if you made it to the end you can leave a book emoji a sunshine emoji or pink no 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 you know what leave a pink emoji i got pink pink hearts because the book is all pink and i'm wearing pink yeah so thank you so much for watching have a great day everybody bye happy reading